Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for the 19th of February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Earth Signs. So that'll be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We'll go in that order today. First card will be you, Taurus. Second will be your person. Third will be your outcome. And the bottom of the deck is your shared energy. All right. Taurus, you guys are coming up as the Seven of Wands. Your person, the Four of Wands. And your outcome for the day. There we go. And your guys' shared energy is the Emperor in reverse. Clarified with the Justice in reverse. And the Eight of Cups. Okay. Taurus, you guys are uh, trying to keep from major life changes happening. Um, yeah. With the Emperor in reverse, you're dealing with somebody, or this is you, that is very controlling. Um, want things their way and only their way. Um, if they don't have it their way, they throw a fit. Um, dealing with somebody who's out of balance, not, uh, not living in their light. Um, and you're trying to, uh, trying to keep from a divorce happening or, um, you're, you're doing something that's keeping the karmic scales out of balance and, um, it centers around you needing to walk away, moving away, um, yeah, leaving this emotionally draining situation in the past, you're feeling very vulnerable, uh, very on guard, very defensive. Um, you feel like you have to defend what is yours. The person you're dealing with is directly affecting your stability, your home, somebody you live with. Um, your outcome of the day is um, an offer of a tangible offer. Something is going to be... Um, offered to you. Let's see what this is all about. Why is the seven of wands here? What is Taurus? Yeah, you're feeling, um, you're feeling defensive. You're feeling vulnerable because, um, you're in a relationship that either you or the other person is having doubts about being in. Um, and you are, um, being called to take a leap of faith here. Um, the fool does walk away single nine times out of 10. So with the justice here, and the Eight of Cups, both in reverse. It's calling for you to leave an emotionally draining situation and take that leap of faith with yourself to move forward and offer your um, pentacle to somebody uh, that values you. The person that you're dealing with, uh, there's a lot of issues within the home. There's a lot of arguments, a lot of outside interference, um, and a lot of outside opinions around this person or that is in this person's ear. Um, this person also could be dealing with a fire sign because you have the six of pentacles here clarifying your, uh, night. So this night of pentacles, you could be dealing with another earth sign. Um, they could be sharing their energy between you and somebody else, or this is you Taurus, but, um, yeah, these cards need to flip in the upright for, for you guys. Um, it's being called for you to take that leap of faith, to take that that jump and move forward to a more emotionally um, successful relationship. Stay tuned to the end too. I'm pulling Oracle cards at the, the end of the video. Let's move on to Tor uh, Virgos. Virgo, your first, um, second card will be your person. Third, your outcome. All right. You are the mother today, the empress. Wanting to birth a new idea. Some of you could be um, pregnant or you got somebody pregnant, depending on if you're male or female. Your outcome for the day is the six of wands reverse. Your shared energy is the ten of pentacles in reverse, clarified by the nine of wands and the ace of swords. The father is the next card out, so you're dealing with a soulmate to flame at a distance. Um... But I don't feel that whose energy is here. Um, you're coming to the end of a cycle uh, family with uh, be with a spouse, with somebody you have children with, 
um, this coming to the end. You're feeling very defensive. You have been through hell with this person and back. And um, the truth is come out. You're being enlightened by uh, the divine about what to do in this family situation. The person you are dealing with is Nine of Pentacles. So they have invested in themselves in this time of separation. Um, they are very grounded, very successful. Uh, in your guys' outcome, you have the six of wands, so you're feeling defeated by this person. Let's see what this is. Why is the mother here for Virgo? Be dealing with Horus or Libra as well. All right, uh, you needing to. Um, Virgo, you're showing up and you're clear with awesome. You need to, or you're breaking free out of thing like you were up somewhere. And you are finding something in your own. Uh, are going deep within. You're deciding what is that you, whether you want to continue to fight this fan or whether you want this site. And in that time, of, the truth is going to be revealed. The person dealing with had, well, had I of or the nine of ones is very bad of between the two or not compared very um you both have been for this relationship and separation. Um that is very to source and um a psychic they're um committed. This is also somebody that you've kept it first of your family. Um like I said, single, they're well in their own self. They're very source, very um, psychic, uh, and they are still fighting this relationship. Even if you change the game, why is this secure in reverse? So, with that, I would as the night ones could be the first
uh, these two are getting over this heartache and over the shared energy that happened in the past. Um, in your guys' outcome, you are going to offer your love to one person and you will get that new beginning gifted from the universe um, and you will take that leap of faith with this person. A lot of major arcana here, a lot of aces and... Uh, and um, court cards as well. So big changes for you, Capricorn, are coming your direction. And it's all being uh, led by the divine with that divine truth coming through. So let's see what the sacred traveler has for advice for you, Earth signs. All right. For Taurus. Oops. One card for Taurus. What advice do you have? Well, there sacred travels. Fogged in. Go slow and take your time. Virgo. Watching the clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. And Capricorn. Distant thunder. Clear the air. All right. And all of you have enjoyed the journey. So, uh, Taurus, with Fogged In, you guys, uh, you're coming to a point where you're just really confused. You have go slow and take your time. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward. You can go slow. You can go gently. You don't have to rush because you are safe. But when you take the time and go slow... Um, new perceptions emerge that you can't see from uh, your point of view if you're going fast. So move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into um, your stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. You need to take the time to go within and trust your deeper intuition. Um, and stronger power is born in those times when you relax and when you stay in that present moment of um, everything that you are dealing with. Um, Virgos, you guys have lay back, rest and relax. This is just simply saying that put everything aside and take time to renew your energy. Um, it's often when you relax that you're going to get new insight. Um, your awareness is going to heighten. So just take a deep breath. Um, put your feet up, be in the present moment and do nothing. Simply, um, just watch the clouds. The answers that you are looking for, they're going to come to you a lot easier when you're relaxing. Um, but first, you need to stop all the activity around you and just evaluate your life in this time of silence. Uh, Capricorn, you guys have distant thunder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this this card, there's something. <sighs> okay, dramatic purification, um, renewal, and healing are occurring in your life on many levels, Cappies. Um, don't be concerned if there's chaos in your life right now, because in this instance, it's good. Uh, it's shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. If uh, your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult to allow new things, new experiences, new opportunities to come into your life. So it's time to clear the clutter out of your life, release the old, um, and clear the air and release situations that do not empower you. It's time to purify the dross out of your life in order for renewal to occur um, because the old is what is going to make way for the new. So it's time to clear the air, clear your energetic space, clear everything around you and allow that new energy to come in for you. All right, Earth Science. I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday. God bless.